Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. And I'm Alex. And we're in America! Yeah, we're not where we normally are in our kitchen at home. We're in an apartment in Florida and we're loving it. We're having a great time. Yeah, we? we are. I feel at home though with the whole island. It's a beautiful kitchen yeah, here. Yeah, it's a really nice it's apartment. It's a wonderful Airbnb. But yes, we're here um, coming to the end of our trip, unfortunately. But we thought while we're here, let's get some videos filmed as we can go out and get as much American things as we want. Yeah, and if you haven't been keeping up with our adventures, we've been posting about it on TikTok. We've been doing a little road trip down the east coast of America yep. and we've been documenting our time along the way on TikTok so if you've ever thought about following us now's the time yeah we've got some great videos on there well I think anyway I think so too. <laughs> and if you do follow us on TikTok it's nice to see you in the comments today is exciting because yeah. everything that we get sent is pretty amazing but hasn't it also been fun getting to go and, and pick some things out yeah being able to actually see everything that's on the shelves and have a look around yeah. it's been so much fun it's cool seeing the things that you guys have picked out and almost experience what you're doing for our videos well what I loved is like we do have like a familiarity because so many generous people have sent us a lot of stuff yeah we recognize things on the shelves and we're like oh yeah we tried that we love that oh there's this there's that and then in between those things there's like a few things we haven't tried yeah. either because they're new or maybe people just didn't think to send them and that's what's exciting about today's video because i feel like a lot of the stuff here mm. are different flavors of things we've already been sent which is really really exciting we've got two savory things. Do you want to start with these, Al? Yeah, let's go for it. And they look like they're two brand new flavors. These are the Sniders of Hanover Twisted Pretzel Sticks in... Sour Cream and Onion. Which is so exciting because we absolutely love Sniders and we love these Twisters. And it's funny because I always say how much I love the Dots and the Sniders yeah. and I can never decide which one's my favorite. And I'm pretty sure last time I said the Dots were my favorite, but I got a bag here and I didn't realize how spicy they were. Really? They're not like- What flavor is that? The original. The original? The red packet. Yeah, I think they did have a bit of a kick to them. And I don't remember that. That obviously just shows the time we've had them, it's probably been mixed with other things. Yeah. But yeah, so I think maybe I'm leaning more towards Snyder. And I think also last time you preferred this this twisted, twisted style. I really whereas like twisted. I don't think you like the chunky ones as much. Not do you? as much, no. Oh, smells amazing. Already my like mouth glands are going crazy. <laughs> Salivating already. I am. We'll have to call her Mo Salivator. What made you think about that? Never pass. Here we go. Sick burn, bro. Mm, these smell amazing. They do smell amazing and they look all nice and greasy. Mm. I wonder how long these have been out. Just say new, so that's newish. A powerful. Wow, that's a strong <laughs> sour cream and onion. I like that, but it's the kind of thing where I might struggle to eat mm -hmm. lots of these. It might be I can only eat a few at a time. That's the best thing about Snyder's is they're not afraid to actually give you the flavor mm. they say. So I love that. They're very powerful, like you say those like mini mini bags i probably wouldn't even be able to finish one of those but they're great for maybe get the big one put a couple out with a dip and some other things yeah absolutely delicious like a little gathering and yeah in a bowl and like there's some other chips mm. as well really really good what are you going to give those i'm going to have to give them a nine out of ten they're not as good as my favorites which are the honey mustard mm -hmm. but they're really up there I think I might give them an eight and a half out of 10 because like you say, the honey mustard are my favorite. Mm. So they're really good, but just below the honey mustard. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely delicious. Shall we start a drink? Al? I think we should, yeah. Cleanse the palate with some Mountain Dew. Now this is really exciting because last time we tried a Mountain Dew, I can't remember what the flavor was called now. Bar Half Fresh. And there was another one, I swear. Yeah, I can't remember the other one. But loads of you mentioned this one, which is the Major Melon, and we found it in store. And I think we did a video last Last year or the year before about Super Bowl adverts oh my word. and one of the adverts was Mountain Dew and I'm pretty sure it was about Major Melon and they were driving, they were driving along around. in this world that was all like melony and, and cartoony. Pinky. Yeah. So is this it? I we finally so. got our hands on mm. it. So that means this isn't actually that new. No. It's just... But I am excited to try we it. We have tried it. That is majorly melony. Thank you. Wow. That smells like um, a sweet... Not necessarily melon though. Oh yeah, melon. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to America, our US road trip. Wow, mm. I like that. That's pretty incredible. I like that. That is so mm. good. That tastes like, 
You know when you were at like a restaurant or something, you're like, oh, I'm going to push the boat out and get one of those like slushy cocktail things. Mm. That's like that. Yeah. I'm getting that experience from that. It tastes like I'm on a slushy on holiday. This is fantastic. It reminds me of like a watermelon margarita or something. Yeah. This could easily be a cocktail. Mm. I wonder if many people mix alcohol with mountain juice. That would yeah, actually be really good. Up. This is fantastic. I'm going 10 out of 10. Lovely melon flavor. I love the color. There's lots of lovely little fizzes in there. Delicious. Mm. I think I'll give it a 10 out of 10 mm. as well. Oh, this is absolutely delicious. Yeah. You can taste like a bit of lemon there as well. I really enjoyed that raspberry lemonade. I think that and this are my top mountain juice I've had. I always thought original mountain juice was my favorite, which I think it still is. But some of these flavors have been really good. Yeah. And this is up there, definitely, this major melon. I think they've that. stepped up and they've pushed the boat out and they've done well. Mm. It's a really nice light flavor. There's one more savory and it's another Snyder. Let's do are it. you ready? Yeah. I got really excited when I saw this. Snyder Fest, beer cheese pieces. And these are limited edition, so if you've not tried these yet, make sure you go out and get them because they won't be here for that long. That surprises me. What about these made you think you want to try them? Well, we have been sent beer cheese lays. We have, yeah. And they were absolutely delicious. I feel like it's not necessarily beer, beer in there. Yeah. Is it either known as beer cheese or something? I don't know, but yeah. I loved it. Because these are American's Pretzel Bakery since 1909. Oh, That's wow. a really long time. Yeah. It's a long time to be doing anything. I think that's why they've got it right. Ooh. Yum. It does smell a bit like beer this Yeah, one. it might be. Oh, here, classic favourites. Beer, cheese, dip and pretzel. Come together in our limited edition Snyderfest beer, cheese flavour pretzel pieces. Crafted to capture the craveable flavour of beer, cheese, dip combined with the signature crunch they expect from Snyder's of Hanover. Prost. When we went beer, to St. Augustine, yeah. was that beer, cheese? No. With, with a pretzel? What? No, I don't think so. They didn't say it was. Maybe it is. Don't Cheers. Know. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. No, I do like these pieces. Mmm. Yeah, but you still prefer the twist. I think the twist, the reason I like them more is because you get more flavour, but Snyder's do these bits really well compared mm. to anyone else. Right. It's a bit all broken up and mm -hmm. jumbled and get little shards. But you definitely don't get as much flavour on the big pieces. Like the really big ones. Mmm. Mm. I kind of like that these aren't punch you in the face strong. Yeah, these are much more mellow than mm -hmm. these sour cream, aren't they? Yeah, much more mellow. Mm. These are delicious. Yeah. I prefer them to the sour cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, I prefer the sour mm. cream, yeah. I wonder if a mix of both would be nice. Mm. Mm. I bet. I love the bag, Do you think it looks so well fashioned? Yeah, <laughs> well, it's got like real Oktoberfest vibes, isn't it? I like the outfit, what mm. are they called? Leidenhosen. Leidenhosen, yeah. Leidenhosen, is it? You know when you just like pluck a word from your mind? It's like, Leidenhosen. This is a Germanish word that I think I remember. Leidenhosen. Well, look how thin that one is. Wow. Mm. Also, what do you think yeah. to our um, our setup? Alex has done very well here. I think you've done very well with the behind and you can't see in front of us, but considering we only had like two suitcases, yeah. you've been able to bring some good amount of equipment with us. So well done, Al. Well, it's, it's the best we could do with what we had. Exactly. It's the on tour setup. It is the on-tour setup, you know. We haven't got a budget to be able to yeah. bring a film crew. <laughs> okay, what are you giving those out of 10? I'm gonna give them an eight out of 10. Really? Yeah. I'm going to give them a nine out of 10, and I'm glad that I gave the others an eight and a half, because I don't love them way more. It's just a little bit more, I prefer yeah. those. I'd probably pick those out. Okay, cool. Them. Would you like the next drink? Yeah, let's do it. Cleanse the palate. Cleanse the palate. What have we got? 2022, limited edition. Oh, cool. So this is a brand new one. Oh, I know why they've dated it. Why? Because it's a mystery flavour. Oh. And this is mystery number four, is it? Yeah. Voodoo. Do you reckon this came out like Halloween-y time? Because it's kind of like scary So looking. this might be quite new. Yeah. Oh, and it says number four on it. Is that because maybe they've been doing it for four years, do you think? Or well, the are there four flavour. flavours? Because when we tried the Fanta one, we didn't realise, but there was actually three flavours, was there? At home? Yeah. Yeah, there, there more was more flavours than we thought. And, uh, just a clear, wasn't there? So let us know if you've had this and what you think the flavour is. I quite like that they've done it as more of a clear drink to not swage you yeah, one not, way. Not give away any info. Cheers. It was very fragrant, mm. fruity, sweet. Mm. I feel like I've had something just like this. I feel like, you know, we had the 
the pink raspberry lemonade. Yeah. I feel like the base is a lemonade. It also kind of tastes like elderberry lemonade. I was wondering if it was like lychee lemonade. Oh, it could be. Because it's not really strong. Like you're saying, the lemonade kind of limey lemonade flavour is, really is what's through. really strong. But surely they wouldn't just do Mountain Dew lemonade. No. Mm, I like it though. Yeah. That's really, really delicious. Unless, or is it like a margarita, like a frozen margarita flavour? Well, this Could is the be, problem. You never know how far people are going to take mm. it. Like with the Cadbury's bars, we were just trying to guess flavours, but they... They did something really bizarre, didn't they? And it's yeah. like, how are you ever going to guess that? I think it could be like a frozen margarita flavor. I, I think you could be up there. Mm. I definitely feel like there's a lemonade base. Yeah. So, lemonade, maybe it is like Lemony, fruity, limey. lychee. Yeah. Yeah. That's delicious anyway, so... Definitely. Um, what do you prefer, the melon or the... I still prefer the major melon, but, but this is after. this is really good and refreshing. Yeah. I'll probably give it an 8 out of 10. I'll give that a 9 out of 10. I think it's really refreshing. Okay, would you like marshmallows, sweets, or your Reese's? Let's do the Reese's. Okay. I saw these when we're on our way out of Publix, and they're on the end shelves where it's kind of like, oh... Pick me, me on your way out. Well, it's a catch you when you're queuing. They want, I bet you they get oh, loads of- Oh, they sell of... so much that way. Yeah. But anyway, I just thought this was really interesting because obviously we've had a Reese's Pieces before, but I've never seen one designated organic before. Yeah, and I've never seen them up in this direction. No, and it was sat next to Justin's. So I was wondering, is this meant to compete as kind of like a higher end? Mm -hmm. This is also dark chocolate. Do they do normal dark? I'm not sure if Reese's do dark. So I'm wondering if maybe... The organic is the dark one. The, yeah, maybe like they're because of dark chocolate. They also had a Hershey's bar that said organic. So I just thought it was really interesting. And also the packaging on this, I think is slightly classier looking. I really like it. Slightly less that old school it's Reese It's like a look. matte orange. Yeah. It almost looks like more of a Reese's Pieces orange. Yeah. I really like the And I like love the, the packaging. green and white stripe at the yeah, top and bottom. lovely. And Al just also fancied a peanut butter cup, I think. Yeah, it was just an excuse. Because of the orange and the green, it almost gives me like Halloween, Halloween pumpkin yeah. vibes. Is there no case on it? No. Interesting. And I think, is that slightly smaller? It's been so long since I've had a normal Reese's cup because we've had big ones, it we've had little smaller. ones. We've had the crunchy um, crisp ones. And it also is, looks kind of like white. Yeah. White powder. Mm, I feel like you get more chocolate than a normal It reason. looks way more chocolatey. Mm. And the peanut butter is different. Well, I'm guessing the whole thing has to be organic. Much less salty. I think that might be my new favourite. Really? Mm. You love dark chocolate. Mm. It would be I do prefer the saltiness of the normal peanut butter, but I love the dark chocolate with that. That's the thing, mm. I'm really missing that salt from it. It'd be interesting to know what's the difference. So this is 39 grams. Mm. We'll have to look up how much a normal one is. And this is 230 calories. You kind of think dark chocolate would maybe be less calories, do you mm. think? But you never know, 230 sounds like quite a lot. I don't- Is that for one or for both? I'm guessing that's for both. Amount per serving, yeah, mm. two of them. That's good that that's per serving. I'm not a fan of that, but I don't like dark chocolate. Yeah. And I'm new to peanut butter cups. I, I just think that dark chocolate's too dark and the peanut butter's not like punchy enough. But for you- I really like that. There you go, Al. I'm gonna get, I'm actually gonna give that a nine out of 10. Really? It's really up there. I really but like it. But a normal it. peanut butter's not 10. I don't think it's so. It's a Justin's. A Justin's, I think, is probably a 10. Yeah, I can't remember now which my favorite peanut butter cupper is. Cupper. My favorite peanut, peanut butter, butter cupper. Is it the crisp? Yeah, it might be the crisp, you or know. The or with the pieces. The pieces. Mm. Pieces and the crisps. Yeah. Oh, chips are my favourite. Yeah. Well, I'm pleased you like it. You can enjoy that one to yourself. I will do, I will do. <laughs> See, that's the glory of like coming to shop for, your, for yourself. You can get pulled in by these last minute. Exactly. You know, what do they call them? Impulse. Yeah, impulse purchase. They got me with the impulse purchase there. So that last one was very you. Very much me. Now this next one I chose and <laughs> I got very, very excited about this. Welchers have come out with a new item. I don't know it's how exciting. new this is, although at the moment it says ooh. It's not a new product, it's an ooh. It's an <laughs> <laughs> ooh. I feel like that's really bad cutting off. Yeah. Ew. So these are Welch's. Because they've stamped it yeah. too far around. It's around the corner. Ew, Welch's. Ew, see the juice, taste the fruit. <laughs> these are Welch's juice fulls. Juicy fruit snacks, island splash, natural flavors. These look incredible. Juice you can see, fruit you can taste. Now it doesn't tell us what flavor they are, but I'm guessing strawberry, pineapple. lime. Could that be a pineapple? Yeah, mango. Kiwi. These look. Banana, strawberry. Apps. 
absolutely delicious. I absolutely love a sweet that has a center. I never get as excited about stuff like Welch's as you do, but whenever we have them, I do enjoy them. Yeah. So let's see. And you do enjoy the sweets that have a little center. Oh, if, the, if I'm gonna have anything, it's those. Let us know if you've tried these. Ooh. Fritz next. Yeah, aren't they? They smell delicious. We were walking around Target today and a lady was handing out little samples of a fruit snack. I went and got some. Was it these? No, it wasn't oh. these. And then Matt got some and gave them to me and then you went and got them. So I actually had Spoiled like six. Rotten. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. I think that is strawberry and banana. Yeah, maybe they're a mixture. I think they're Because I was thinking that didn't taste like strawberry, but it kind of did, but it tastes like banana. Mm. wonder if the outside is one flavour and the inside mm. is another. I think you're right. That's like pineapple and something. I'm enjoying them, but I think I prefer the original, just Welch's. These are right for a bit of fun, aren't they? But the combo's not as good as I was hoping. Hmm. I was really excited for that. <laughs> they are nice. They're refreshing and fruity and fun. Yeah. Great for like kids as well who want to just like squeeze it out. I think out. it depends on your preferred like combinations, doesn't mm -hmm. it? The first one was probably the best, the strawberry and banana. Well, that one's nice. Have you had that round one? Mm. They're not the best, are they? No. Nice and fruity, but not the best. I'm probably only gonna give them, I'm a bit disappointed, so I'm gonna take them down. I'm only gonna give them like a six. I wouldn't go that low, I'd say they're a seven. They but are good, I'm disappointed. You so are disappointed, I'm, I'm, I can tell. I'm scoring with a hurtful heart. I can tell. <laughs> Maybe they're <laughs> actually a seven, heart, yeah. but a Welch's is a 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I will still eat them. I'll take them on the plane with me. Yeah, I'm sure you They'll will. They'll be good. Yeah. Oh, I'm gutted about that. Lastly, we have two new flavours of something we've been sent for. We have... Stuffed Puffs Big Bites. Now, when we were first sent them, do you remember, we thought they were going to be awful. Yeah. And I don't know whether or not it's the branding or just like the thought that we've never heard of the brand before. We well, thought the, the chocolate was going to be rubbish. The branding kind of looked like the kind of thing that's on the side at a gas station that's just yeah. trying to like get you to pick it and up. And you know, like it. at Christmas, you have more generic chocolate. Yeah. Whereas they were absolutely delicious. So when I saw more flavors, I knew we had to get them. We got two out of the three new flavors. The one we didn't get was Smalls. Yeah, because Stuff Puffs doesn't seem like a brand name. It seems like the name of the yeah. item. It's like, you know, Hershey's Stuff Puffs. Yeah, that sounds like I agree. That would be the brand and then the actual product. But I'm absolutely loving the branding of this. The big bright pink packet and then look at this. I love how you can see them inside. And they are covered in way more sprinkles than I thought. Usually the photo is better yeah. than what you get. But look how just like full they are. So it's a resealable bag, which is good. Handy We've got... Birthday cake. Rainbow sprinkle coated marshmallows made with cake flavored filling and sprinkles. I'm a bit worried about the cake bit because it's like flavored. Yeah, they're pretty epic, don't they? They're huge. I didn't realize how big they'd be. They're massive. They kind of smell a bit like Play-Doh. <laughs> so I'm a bit worried. <laughs> smell that, Play-Doh. Yeah. <laughs> it must be the sprinkles. Those sprinkles are epic. Cheers. It really does smell like Play-Doh. Oh. It tastes like Play Doh. The sprinkles aren't good. Mm, no. <laughs> Are these edible? Mm. The inside's okay. No, it's not. It's a white chocolate fudge. It must taste, taste like it's out of date to me. The sprinkles aren't good at all, it's are they? It's not good, unfortunately. Oh, let's You were hope very much looking forward to that. <laughs> that really wasn't that good. How funny, though, because the last ones we had were good. And they were epic. Yeah. I really hope these next ones are good. Maybe we should have gone for the s'mores, probably would have been better to go mm. for this because this is an also another like flavored inside. <laughs> Dear. <laughs> Maybe we should just leave the shopping to all the lovely people who have sent us boxes. <laughs> What do we know? Oh dear. Maybe that's why we've not been sent them this far. Yeah. <laughs> We're but, like, oh, this is new, this is new. But the last ones were good, so. Because like, these come in cookie bits. Yeah, I think they? so. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> it smells better. Yeah, because at least it smells like real cookie. Cheers. Better. I haven't got this to the center yet though. Is that another white fudge? Chocolate. That's a solid block of chocolate. No, that's what I mean. They call it white fudge though, don't mm. they? Oh no, that's better actually. Much better. Still not amazing. Oh wow. I brought a knife because I thought I was going to need to cut it up. I think we need a but spoon. 
I turned away for one second, and I think we need a spoon now. Well, it's gone chewy. Has it? I think you've because overdone, overdone it now. It. Isn't it funny how you can change the texture of things by heating? Oh, is that the chocolate bit in the middle down there? Does that taste like good? That's gone chewy too. It must be a powerful microwave because mm. I still only literally did it for like 15 seconds. Mm. I prefer it hot. Still not amazing though. Oh dear. What was the... Um... Get it off the spoon otherwise. Oh way. yeah. And get our safety deposit back. Oh yeah. <laughs> and off the plate. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, what are you going to give that then, Al? I'm going to give that a disappointed six on the cookies and cream. And I think for the, the cake one, it's got to be like three. Yeah, the cake one was really not I good. I think that might unfortunately be one of the worst things we've ever tried. <laughs> three, four for the um, the birthday cake, and I'm going to give maybe five, six for the cookies and, and cream. And we can't blame anyone else other than ourselves. No, so we chose them. We chose those. <laughs> and what a disappointment. But... We really enjoyed the original yeah. one. So. The last ones we had were great. What yeah, happened? I know. A five, six, seven. <laughs> Truth the week. Maybe we should have had a US road trip, different dance. Ah, uh, maybe we can do like, you know, the music underneath. Maybe we can get like a country. Oh, yeah. Like a rocky version. Road trip style. Road trip edition. Yeah. So I think my treat of the week this week is gonna have to be the Reese's Organic mm. Cups. I'm really into this. It's based on something you know and love, mm -hmm. but it's now organic. And it's nice when a brand that you love comes out with something else and it's just as good. Yeah. I'm going for my treat of the week. Mountain Dew. I feel like Mountain Dew are really on it at the moment. I'm yeah. loving their new flavors. These two were absolutely delicious, fresh and fruity. Love them. Thought they were really, really delicious. What I would love to know is obviously Mountain Dew has a classic flavour. Yep. Of these extra flavours, how many of them are around all the time? Yeah, they, we were saying this. Because we're not we? here all the time. We see them, but they don't ever seem like they're sticking around for a yeah. long time. Like how long do they stay, like these limited editions? Are they like on the roster for like a long time until yeah. like interest dies down and then yeah. they just bin them. I know, I wonder, I wonder. But that was absolutely delicious. Mm. Well, did you enjoy our first road trip video? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Having been sent all the food at home, it's nice to be here, being able to pick it out for ourselves and uh, giving it a go. Yeah, I really enjoyed looking around the shops. Definitely give us a follow on TikTok if you want to see more of our road trip adventures. We've had a really great time so yeah, far, really haven't good. we? Don't forget, if you want to try our British candy, we have a website which we'll leave listed down below. We've got lots of different box options that you can try. Yeah, and when you order one of those boxes, it helps support the channel and keeps us uploading videos weekly. It does. Anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching and we'll see you soon. Bye guys. See ya.